Hi, uh, we are back with our session on uh, Azure policies. And uh, of course, Morris, you are still with me. I am indeed. Yeah, I was just thinking that we should try to break it down in smaller part and see the how to and uh, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. should we maybe start with uh, something uh, totally basic Simple. and uh, yeah, yeah. Let's start Let's do by that. doing an applying a policy and maybe creating an exception. That will be an episode, right? So yeah, I yeah. agree. We yeah. can do that. So um, let's just first have a quick look at our very complex management group structure. So we the have blue screen. A, yeah, we have a single subscription called yeah. our subscription, and we have a management group called uh, blue screen. Yeah. Um, so of course, uh, policies are defined at a certain scope, meaning so. Each, each of these are different scopes, essentially. Tenant root group is also a scope. Right now, we will be focusing on this blue screen um, management group as the scope. Yeah. It's a and little bit like we talked about in the first episode, right? That you can create a policy in, in what level you want, and it will be inherited down. So it's yeah. uh, important to know where you want it to work from. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, Microsoft provides a gazillion default policies defined at the root. So yeah. that will be available all over the place and we will be using one of those. Yeah. So we can start uh, on the uh, blue screen management group uh, clicking into that. And um, uh, from here we can uh, go to uh, go to policy in the in the left menu. And um, uh, this is now essentially just scoped on our uh, management group. And you can see there's a few policies here already, and we yeah. will be adding a new one. And so, we are good boys because we are 100% compliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with uh, one resource. So yeah. uh, <laughs> using a lot of Azure consumption on a single resource group or something. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, under here, you will find uh, definitions. I've already preloaded it because it's a bit slow uh, to load, and that's because it's uh, many, 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 many policies, yeah. a couple of hundred uh, or many hundred. I think it's 470 uh, or something like that. So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what I can but, do here now is that I can actually filter on what I'm trying to do. I can search, but I can also filter, for example, on category. Yeah. So here, let's just deselect every category and uh, find tags because it's well, it's easy to to show tags, but it's a lot of other um, um, pre-made definitions or policy def definitions for you already. Yeah, and then there are different things you can use it for because I have used some of them to replace old tags with new tags. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also use uh, uh, inheritance from the resource group down to the resource or from subscription down to the resource. So there are a lot of different ways you can uh, use the tags on uh, to automate what the tag will be on the different resources. Exactly. As you can see here, you have this inherit the tag from the resource group, inherit the tag from the subscription, add or replace a tag, yeah. many different. Uh, so as you can see, this is yeah, probably something like 20. Uh, yeah. policies just for tags. Yeah. So um, this is very flexible. Yeah. So um, uh, let's now first, let's just require a tag on resource groups. Yeah. I think that's so. that, that's so, some of the default stuff you would like if you have other people working in your subscription, make sure that they fill out some tags to have cost or uh, usage of the resource groups and stuff like that. So, so exactly. we want to require something. So let's go into, into that definition. Uh, and um, um, so, so each definition has uh, essentially like a technical description on, uh, on, on what it's doing. So, so here you can actually see the whole, whole um, uh, policy written mm -hmm. by Microsoft. And uh, that means that you can actually use this to to build your own if you want to. But right now we're just assigning this. Yeah, that's the, the nice thing with the duplicate definition. 
because you're yeah. not allowed to edit definition, but you're allowed to duplicate. So you can create your own version of it, but you will still have the original clean back. So yeah, exactly. And you will see here definition uh, definition location is not set, so it's just globally yeah, available essentially. Uh, the root. Yes. Uh, so let's go to assign. So when we come to the uh, super fast uh, <laughs> yeah. assign uh, screen, we can now choose the scope. Yeah. Um, and because this this is a well a globally defined um, uh, policy, we can select all the way to the top the tenant root group. Yeah. If we were to select a um, a policy defined at a management group level, we would see we, that would be the starting level, right? Yeah. So here I can now choose my blue screen management group, and uh, the assignment will be, then be inherited to any children yeah. of this. And that, that's the great uh, way of thinking, because if you create another subscription, you will still have the same rules as this one. But in yes. some cases, you will have uh, policies just on a single subscription, but uh, it, it, make, it makes it possible to make sure that everything is updated when they are being created the first time when you have a new subscription. Yeah, exactly. So, for example, in like an Azure landing zone configuration, you would be applying um, uh, these on on either like the landing zones management group or the different so-called archetypes which can yeah, for instance the uh, LL, LL, uh, the landing zones itself uh, and yeah. not on the uh, management and so so on so yeah, yeah exactly not the like connectivity uh, yeah. and management and uh, identity um, subscriptions yeah so now we can name the assignment and this is now a very generic name require a tag on resource groups yeah. so we can now, now actually Let's call it require the tag. What do you want? Department? Department, yeah. Require the tag department on resource groups. So let's enforce this. Yeah. And I can say, I, I, I can blame Olav if I want to. And click next. Blame him. And um, uh, yeah, let's keep advanced for this video. Yeah. So, so in the parameters, and this will vary between which policy you are actually uh, actually uh, uh, assigning. Yeah, because so, some have uh, parameters and some doesn't, and some have multiple parameters. So, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. this. And has, they, they, one of the reasons I'm using a custom pol policy to do exactly this part is because this is just one policy uh, and one tag, but I want to have four tags. So you can yeah. actually create a custom one that will give four tags in one policy instead of creating four different policies, applying them four times. So yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So for example, here I can now say department, which is the tag that we want to require. Yeah. And there's no rem remediation for this uh, this policy because this is simply a deny policy. So if yeah. you if you do not have um, uh, have the tag, then um, yeah. Yeah. So a non-compliance message. So I can uh, I can say please provide the department tag. A nicer message. Yeah. And then we can uh, just this will verify everything is correct, and then click create. Yeah. And what we're creating is a policy assignment. Not the policy itself, but uh, we're just assigning it to yeah. a scope. Yeah. So yeah, now now I have done that, and you can see I'm actually back on the policy definition. Um, so let's close that and go back to our um, resource group, where we can now go to we can actually go to assignments. Assignments, yeah. Uh, and click uh, refresh, and we will see that this required the tag department on resource groups is now available yeah. and assigned. Yeah. And if we go to um, go to overview, we'll be a, see a slightly different view yeah. where you will see that the require tag on department is also um, available and it's compliant. Yes, um, so th th this is 
quite fast on the built-in and especially yeah. since we have one resource <laughs> so it's uh, quickly to uh, to check if it's compliant or not uh, not compliant but if this was a big huge huge environment uh, it would use some time but i have seen that it says compliant and it's only gone through 25 percent or something like that so this is a good yeah. overview but uh, it will take some time in your bigger environment to get a complete state Exactly, and also if you have a lot of custom policies, which are not the out of the box ones from Microsoft, they will actually be not started in compliance data for quite a while yeah. before they actually start working. Yeah, because it need to go through some more stuff before before it's run uh, yeah. on, the, on the environment. So exactly, yeah. but this is just a basic. But what if I need to make sure that in uh, in one subscription or in a particular resource group or something like that you want to make an exception in th this case it will be on a subscription because it's it's on a resource group uh, but we will make sure that we have one subscription that you are allowed to create exactly. without the tag so yep, what should we, we do to create the exceptions yes so uh, you see exemptions in uh, in here and you can also uh, um, should we test it out to see if yeah. the tag works first yeah before we do it so um uh, let's keep uh, keep that one and go to uh, go back to our management group because here we have uh, have our uh, subscription that we can go into and then create a uh, a resource group so yeah. let's go to our subscription which keeps changing names but whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> subscription naming in azure is uh, it takes a while yeah, yeah. Uh, so go, let's go to resource groups so now you will actually see that I have um, a one existing resource group which doesn't have the required tag. So mm -hmm. when the policy is finished processing, then uh, this will actually be highlighted as non-compliant. Yeah. But okay, let's go to create. And then we type Ula. We already have the Marius uh, yeah. resource group. Yeah, it doesn't matter which region. Let's just take East US. Let's just do, uh, not put in any tags and go to the validation screen. And we will see, well, this didn't succeed at all. Yeah, so let's go th this is the good thing with some of the, some of the policies actually will show you that it was a tags that failed. Yeah, so. that's correct. And you can so also you can see, see the tag department is, uh, is required. Yeah. Okay, department. Mm, IT. Yeah, I like heard this. about those guys. This keeps popping up. Uh, the par department, the yeah. part. So it shows that you actually have to type it the right way as well. <laughs> as well. So. That is correct. And now let's try to validate, and we can see that now it actually passed. Yeah. So we can click create, and it works like a charm. Yeah. So now, um, thinking of the structure that we had, where we had a single subscription, of course, it doesn't really make sense to assign uh, on the management Exception group to level the and then yeah. exactly <laughs> accept the older yeah. subscription, but whatever. Yeah, the process <laughs> is the same, right? So yeah, yeah, that is true. So now we can go to uh, go to the assignment, um, and we will actually see that Marius here is not. Uh, it, it has now been detected as non-compliant yeah. and eventually Olav will come up here as well as compliant. Of course but, Olav is compliant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on the um, on this um, assignment we can now go to create exemption yeah. where I can either say that uh, okay what's the scope of the exemption well I can definitely say that the scope is the whole it's, management group yeah. but that doesn't really make sense and then, and then can, it will be easier to just delete the policy right yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> and now i can even go into my subscription and take my single resource group or, or, yeah. or even a resource inside that resource group yeah. so um, 
Uh, we can do it with uh, just Marius this time because it, it, yep. it's hard to. Uh, we couldn't have done this example on uh, on a not already created resource group because then we cannot create a uh, exemption in this case. But yeah, uh, but we can do it because it's in here. But I uh, exactly. also like the just go for the select. Mm -hmm. The exemption does not expire. Uh, it's a nice. Uh, uh, to turn yeah. on because if you know that we are going to fix it this so let's give them a month mm -hmm. and then we expect the policy to be compliant or if it's not compliant we will try to fix it so so instead instead of just be uh, be ex exemptions and uh, uh, risk that you have done something stupid that you don't remember in the future it's okay to just set a date for it yeah exactly and you can uh, can uh, also say something about the category of the exemption. Yeah. And then we can click uh, review and create. Create. And now we have actually um, added an exemption. And yeah. it will take a few minutes, but then this will actually now become um, compliant. Yeah. Because we have an exemption for it. Or is yeah. it accepted, the compliance date? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about the same thing. Just go for the policy and see if you have time to see it before uh, we call it a day. But just go to uh, to the policy the top level again to see if mm -hmm. uh, and do a refresh. Let's just uh, this will go all the way back to them. Let's just do like this. I think it reloads. Yeah. Voila. Yeah. It's, it's not the, done. Uh, yeah, done it's, it needs so, some time. So, so the, the funny thing, it's it said it was compliant when it was applied the first time, but it have hadn't started to crawl through the resources. Yeah. So it should sa actually say that we are now uh, trying to assess the compliance level. So yeah. yeah. So it's worth noting that this is definitely not like a live system. You need to be a bit patient. Yeah, especially when you're doing the custom uh, part. And uh, I think we will do an episode with the custom part in the uh, next episode, uh, Marius. Yes, we will do yeah. that. Yeah, perfect. But then we call Thank it you. a day and uh, yep. we will see the people soon. We will. Thank yeah, you for perfect. watching. Thank you for watching.